Okay guys, welcome to another trade trade recap video. Um, today is uh, June 4th. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different setup, way better setup. This is my brother's setup. Uh, he has a actually a PC and uh, he has this mic, which is uh, really good. Um, I'm going to do these here for now. I could also use OBS, which makes it a lot easier. It's so much easier to set up. Um, so yeah, another trade recap video. Um, I don't know how much people are actually watching these, but I'm doing these for fun, right? I'm doing these for fun. I'm doing these because I like these. Um, I like trading, right? Um, I've been doing it for seven to eight months. I've been learning it for about almost a year now. But yeah, but it's something that I've been like um, been liking to do, and um, maybe someone that doesn't know about trading or knows a little bit about trading sees these videos and it helps them out. Um, so yeah let's get right into it so today i took a trade on gj um i usually always trade the same pairs um last video my first trade recap i posted yesterday um if you haven't go check it out it wasn't as good quality as this but um it was a it was a it was a nice it was a nice trade it was a way nicer trade i feel like it was a cleaner trade than this um so i do trade the same pairs always i usually just trade uh gj euro usd and usd cad if i don't see anything in those which is really rare i'll look at the other pairs i have on my watch list um so today as you can see we went short on gj i'm gonna tell you guys what i saw what i did my entries and all the good stuff so um i always like, like i said in the last video i always look at my trades in the 15 minute i obviously saw that we were you know bearish we were going in a downwards direction i did see this order block which I have um, marked out over here. Um, I saw that it get it got tapped, dropped, got tapped, and um, dumped again. Right. So this was a key level I was looking at. Um, it was a very nice key level. Another thing I liked, right, was um, that we respected the order block, went back to tap it, and we just wicked, right? We wicked this uh this high over here. We just wicked it, right? Let me mark it out for you guys. We wicked the high, right? We never we never broke structure to the upside and then we dumped so i was like okay we haven't broken structure to the upside we aren't that if we would have broken structure here right if we would have closed above this then i would have waited for something around here to go even higher right after we've been dumping for so long but i saw that we hadn't broken structure over here so i was still bearish right we, then we have this high that has to get broken we never really broke it either it was kind of like even um, I don't like being too microscopic, right, with my trading. But as you can see, right, we didn't have a clear break, right? So I was still bearish. And you might ask yourself, oh, but this 15-minute um, order block got disrespected. It did. Let me go to the smaller time frames, which is I, I always do this. I go to the 15-minute, the 5-minute, go in at the 1-minute, maybe sometimes the 3-minute, but we start at the 15, dissect it, and we go hop into an entry. Okay, in the 5-minute. We had the same order block which aligned with the 15 minute which is awesome right it's great we love that we love when things align it makes us a lot more confident going into our trades <clears throat> I, po I i had this five minute um imbalance pointed out as well just in case it was a possibility they could retrace to it if it was an area also where it kind of respected it still is respected the, the bearish structure right if we would have just broken right we break if we disrespect this five minute imbalance you break structure to the upside it's probably going to keep in my eyes i'm not i don't want to sound like some like professional trader or anything but just saying what i saw right if we would have disrespected this i feel like we would have broken broken structure of these highs and they just kept going up so this is i feel like it's a good thing to tell you guys i think that'll help you guys that has helped me i'll say will help has helped me a lot of my trading is that each time frame has its own thing right the one minute the the 15 minute order block might get respected in the 15 minute and it might get respected overall right if it respects in a time in a time frame it's respecting it overall yeah but as you can see here right in the 15 minute this all got respected in the one minute if you go in the one minute time frame we see that it gets a little disrespected right we break out of it and if you're going to entries in the one minute you want the best entry possible you want the best risk to reward right you want a confident entry and you just don't want to be like enter a trade you're on drawdown already you're panicking right um so two things that i did wrong with this trade was 
I went in way too early, right? I was impatient. I got in around here where I have my mouse. I got in way too early and I didn't do a thing that I love doing that's part of my strategy is I like going into the one minute. I went in the one minute. I'm like, okay, let's see what the one minute is respecting. Each time frame respects its own thing, right? So I'm like, okay, what's the one minute respecting? I saw that it kept breaking out. Why is it breaking out? But my, my, I'm like, why does it keep breaking out like above this or, um, order block? But I'm still bearish, right? So I'm like, okay, let's see what it is. We see this um, one minute order block, right? That was getting respected a bunch of times. So a better entry I could have done was wait for a down candle, a big, nice push down, right? A nice push down. I could have the same stop loss. But look at the difference in um, RR we would have had, the, um, and risk to reward we would have had. I would have had a 5.6 risk to reward on this trade. If I just would have been more patient, I would have waited for that down candle, and I would have seen that order block in the one minute, which was respecting the time frame that I execute my trade at, that I, I um, get into. I look at the 15 and the 5 to see the bigger picture, but I go in the one minute, right? That's one thing I messed up, obviously, not seeing that order block on the one minute, and obviously, it was too greedy. Because what I did, I saw this, I saw this down candle, and I was like, okay. You can see this big wick on this one minute was a um, a downwards candle. It was a black candle going downwards. It had like 10 seconds to close. I went short. It reverses it reverses the last 10 seconds and went um turned into a, a bullish candle. So I was like, damn, it's gonna wick me out. It's gonna keep pushing. Probably get more liquidity. Hit an order, and I saw it was the one minute order block was respecting. So if we had a down move, I would have liked, and I would have hopped in. Better risk reward. But it is what it is. There was news at 10 a.m. And I think that's why the market was so ugly today. As you can see, um, I took out around like here, which is a which was a 1.6, 1 to 1.6, which isn't bad, right? There is, dude, I entered the trade at like 10 a.m., around 10, and until like, until like 1 p.m., there was no movement at all. We were just consolidating. It was so whack. Um, I was at the gym. I was working out, kept looking at my trading view, and um, so we kept consolidating. I thought I was confident in my bias, and I was like, I'm going to just let it ride, see if we will eventually pick up some volume. We did pick up some volume. Um, we're still dumping. We could be heading maybe to our TP, maybe not. But yeah, I think just volume today was really bad. News also, there's this huge, um, there's a huge 10 a.m. candle. Um, so yeah. That's today's trade recap. Uh, we're two for two for the week. It's a Tuesday. We're two for two. That's very good. Um, for you guys that don't know, I'm trading on a demo account. I'm, um, I'm still on my first phase of my 5K account. Working towards passing that. I feel like once we pass that, um, hopefully it's like we break the ice and um, start scaling into bigger things and more accounts. We're taking it slow, being patient, patient, getting better by the day. That's the, the name of the game, the name of trading. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Shout out to my brother to, for the setup. Um, I think when he leaves to the gym, I'm going to start doing these videos so I can have the setup. I don't have to bother him. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Go check out my last video if you guys haven't already. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.